Hi! I am going to make something out of the old envelope that I just painted and some of the scraps that I have. These are just uh, cut-offs from uh, when I was making some journals and I'll see what I can fit um, to make some notebooks or something like that. So let's just start. I think I'm gonna use these smaller pieces first. So here I have one envelope that I put some acrylic paint on um, to cover the dress and all that. Um, this is probably, I don't know, 15 years old or maybe more. Um, I wanted to repurpose this because other way I would throw it away, right? So I was thinking, what can I do? I put the paint only on the first, um, on the front of the envelope. Uh, because I think I wanted to glue the inside together so I will have more sturdier thing to work with. So for this I'm just going to use my craft knife and try to open it so it's going to be easier for me to glue it together. Because now I cannot go inside of the envelope and glue, glue both sides together something like this and you can see how um, it has these weird spots um, that is what I want to cover you could paint the whole envelope but you know if this is going to be something that I'm going to be covering anyways uh, why not just leave it as it is and some glue stick oh this is a fresh glue stick I'm going to just apply so I can smooth it out and have a sturdier thing to work with. So two pages and a little bit of paint. It's going to get really nice and sturdy. Like this. I should cut this off, I guess. Ah, just let it be. And now I'm thinking, um, here I actually went off a little bit when I was cutting. Not sure if you can see, but it doesn't matter. I am going to figure out my pages for this cute notebook. So, let me see. This could fit. Do I have anything more than this size? Yep. I think I'm just going to go with these. Um, I want to make another one this size. Let me see. Another one this size, maybe this can go there. And yeah. I think I'm gonna go for something like this. This is gonna be my biggest one. So, and I think the length is kinda cool. I'm just going to take my ruler and I will measure it like this so I have two pages here and one page here and let me make more this size let me see are these together no these are all separate okay I'm gonna do them the same way I think I want to use this as a top because I have these rounded corners. These are from notebooks um, that I have, that I hoarded. <laughs> uh, something like this. Um, like so. Okay, so let me put these together. Something like this. Oh, maybe I can open this up and put this page in between. Like this. Try to do center. And then I have this here. Just trying to stack them up. That's all that I'm doing. And one here. We have a huge storm right now. So hopefully everything's going to be fine. And I'm going to put this one back. 
I just want a little bit diversity. That's all. Like this. I think they're all aligned. I'm going to put a little bit of one clip here. Like so. Just so they will stay. And this. I'm thinking I wanted to just cover how much? Like at least at least a centimeter, half of an inch, I guess. So and the top I would like to be a little bit bigger. Maybe something like this. Okay, something like this. I think this is gonna be just fine. And what I'm going to do is just take this off. And I do have a little bit of tape here, so I'm going to just lightly use my craft knife because I don't have any mat underneath. I don't want to score my table, but it's all good. And it's like this. Pick the side that you like best. I think this is going to be my front. And then I'm going to be something like this. Yep. Looks fine to me. Just don't know if I want to shrink it down right now or later. Maybe we can do it like right now. Will I be able to tear this off? Hopefully. Let's see. tight but it's gonna go great okay so what I'm going to do now is take my sewing machine and stitch all around here and turn it around and stitch all around here because that is gonna make it really cute and sweet just going to go around and stitch this baby Okay, the topper is stitched. I'm just going to cut the threads off um, because we don't need them. And you can see I actually went over the tape. It's alright if you just have one little tape, it's alright. But if everything is um, covered with tape, then um, it might gum up your needle. So be aware of that. I think I wanted to just. Um, I wanted to use my dauber to ink this up because it's going to look even cuter. Let me open this up. And I think I want to... I want to put some inking inside as well. Um, because I'm not sure if it's going to stay open or not. Just to cover a little bit of white here. I guess every time I'm making something like this, I do it a little bit different. So, no, oh, that looks fine. Um, so now you can just attach it on or embellish this before I glue it on. So, maybe I need more papers here. Well, let's let's try to embellish this with something, a saying or something nice. Um, let me find something. Um, I have an, a lot of images, um, some that I stamped on, and I thought that maybe since I have so much, I could find something. I kind of like this butterfly, and I would just put it on, um, because, you know, 
There is so much here that I made and cut out. Let's just see what we have. So many images. Mm, maybe something like this could go too. Um, these images are basically from envelopes that um, I got in my mail from Happy Mails a while back, like four years ago. And I cut them out uh, from the envelopes, even though they're, some are not perfectly stamped. I don't mind at all. I think they're just fine and cutesy. Maybe an elephant. Can we do an elephant? Oh, this stamp is so old. Pink Panther. Um, let me try this. So this stamp is like from my childhood. Still working. Um, well that's good. He's a little bit big, aren't you? Oh. Let me see. One side is a little bit bigger, I think. Okay. What about the butterfly? Can we put you somewhere? This is some cooking book. Um, I don't even know which side I decided to use as a front. It doesn't matter. Okay. Something like this. And I wanted to do Inspire here. And um, if I don't do the Inspire. I wanted to do something that is going to pop. Something that isn't really big, something that is just, just perfect. I like that one. And even this. I made this a while back. I put some in my Etsy store. You can go check it out if you like them. Uh, let me see. I just want to put some stuff on. doesn't need to be something that makes sense. I kind of like that this is stitched. So maybe something like this. And I can put some bling on. Kind of feel the bling would just go really nicely with this. I said something like this, I think. And this is again stamped on just a pretty paper. Um, this was a cooking book and uh, I tore it apart because um, it was like a bread cooking thingy. I think this is going to be straight. And I can still put a word or something on the top. More words. Okay, let me see. I'm kind of keeping this. Um, let me see what I have here that I can put there. Stop and enjoy. Maybe. Um, I decided I'm going to start um, separating the English one from Slovenian one because it looks like um, when I'm trying to find something in English, I can only find Slovenian stuff, which is uh, not great. <laughs> um, faith. Hmm. Can we find something more interesting? Enjoy is kind of nice. This is Slovenian word for um, spring and I really like it and I like it that it's white so maybe I can just put it somewhere let me think and play a little bit Yeah, it's going to be faith. 
just I don't know if I should put it here or up there I think I'm gonna put it in the in the corner let's make it a little bit black oh it stopped raining that's nice now I can go outside and work a little bit more like this okay and now I don't know what to do for the back should I do something or should I just let it be I'll let it be I wanted to have more papers here Prof preferably with same length I'll just add a little bit more and then I'm going to um, cut it off. Ooh, I like this one. Something like this. And um, I had I had something bigger. Maybe I could use this side too. Ah. So something like here. Um, I'm going to put it like a sandwich type thingy like this and I've done this with like really really different papers um, some papers from the book the front covers um, the chapter covers um, those all go um, so anything that actually you know, you can write on. You can even gesso the paper, uh, magazines, whatever you have, and then bind them together in a booklet. Oh, these are way longer. Hmm. Hopefully I can tear this off. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go just fine. And last one. And we have a sunshine again. That's cool. Like this. So, notebook is ready. Um, now what I'm going to do, I think, I am going to... Let me see. Staple this on, on the back and then just glue it on for the front and this is like a pretty much a tearaway notebook um, without that glue on the on the top something like this and it's gonna be like this let me just staple this so I just realized I'm not going to be able to staple this because my staple um, thingy is too small um, so I decided maybe to embellish the back side, I could put a ribbon or something in it and then just glue the front. Um, and for that, I just think I'm going to use this. I'm going to go with the smaller hole. Oh, something like this. And I'm putting this back on. And side, it's about here. Putting this back on. Okay. So there are holes, I guess. Yeah. So I'm just going to thread a little thingy. I wanted to make a tie on the back so it's looking like it's tied together 
I can put this through. Yep. So it's something on the back, not totally empty. Let's see if I can do this. And you could do a pamphlet stitch as well if you wanted to. Something like this. Just for decoration. I'm trying to do the middle. And um, going to do this now. Now that I'm thinking, I could put holes in the front too and just stitch it together and then when I have full notes, I could take them out and replace them with new ones. But um, for this one, just going to glue it down. I think I want to put some of the stop and enjoy sayings in here because I can uh, and when you're going to be writing in this you're gonna stop and enjoy when you get to that page just a little bit of a surprise I'm going to put it here Thread the glue. Um, maybe try to put it in the middle somewhat. Not sure if it's in the middle, but uh, it's there. And that's it. This one is finished. I think I'm gonna make more of these because they're so cute. Um, and you can put a lot of paper inside. Hope you enjoyed this and you're gonna try to use some of the used envelopes you have lying around thank you very much for watching bye